So if you ever wanted to know whether or not your user is currently looking at your page or if they've moved away to look at another tab, well, with the Web Page Visibility API, you can do exactly that. So I have a sample here that just uses the bare bones functionality. We're going to flesh this out a little bit more to make sure it works everywhere, but how the core of this works is that you add an event listener to your document object, listening for the visibility change event. When that happens, you can then look at the property document.hidden and it will tell you true or false. If the person has gone away to another tab, this will result in the value false. If they're returning to your page, you'll get a true. So possible use cases for this are if document.hidden, so they've tabbed away, they've moved to another tab in the browser, you can stop your video or audio that's on your page from playing. Maybe you're going to stop a counter running. Maybe you're going to pause a game. Whatever it is that you want to do, this is where you place the code. So if document.hidden, it means they've left. Else, they've come back. The page has regained the focus. And this doesn't fire if, uh, for example, well, here, let's take a look at the page. So here's my page. I'll refresh it. Um, if I go to another tab and I come back here, you can see that it fired twice. Once that it was hidden, once that it was not hidden. So this is when I left the page, this is when I came back. Now it doesn't fire if I've got a browser and I'm focused on the tab and I go away to another application. So here I am back in brackets, I go back to the page, it hasn't fired again. So this is only when you switch between tabs. It's it's Chrome managing its uh, its resources. So it's telling you, we've left the page. If you want, we can pause video, we can pause audio, we can pause your game, whatever it is that you're doing, depending on your website. Now, to make this work everywhere, there were earlier versions of this. So there is a WebKit hidden and an MS hidden property. There is a WebKit visibility change and an MS visibility change event. So we have to know, are we using this one or this one or this one? And then once the event fires, are we using document.hidden, document.ms hidden, or document webkit hidden? So what we're going to do is we're going to write a few if statements and check for these things. I will start off by saying if type of document.hidden equals undefined, or rather does not equal undefined. Change that. So that's going to mean that this property does exist inside of here. If so, we're good to go. And then we have to check for else if type of document dot webkit hidden. So the older version and the earlier versions of Chrome, make sure this does not equal undefined. Oh, actually, these are going to be strings. Yeah, type of is going to return a string which contains the value. There we go. And else if type of document dot ms hidden does not equal undefined. There we are. Else no support. Okay, now we have two things that we have to keep track of, the hidden property and the event name. So let's create a variable for each one of those. We'll say a variable called hidden, it's equal to that, and we'll create a, uh, we'll just declare them, we're going to give a default value. So hidden and be change. that'll be our two variables. Inside here, hidden will be equal to the string hidden and vchange, and this is just a variable name, it's nothing that's really, uh, it doesn't have to be called vchange, this is just a variable name. And that's the name of our event. So down here, instead of this, we're going to say vchange. And instead of document.hidden, because we're using this string, we have to use the square bracket syntax and we'll put our variable hidden 
inside of here. Now this will resolve to the string hidden, or it'll resolve to the string WebKit hidden, or it'll resolve to the string MS Visibility hidden. So we're going to take these, copy it here and here and here. We'll change this to be WebKit hidden, and this is going to be WebKit Visibility Change. This one's going to be MS hidden, and this will be MS Visibility Change. And down here we're going to leave this as null, and we're going to set this one to null. There we are. So this is no support. If we didn't get any of these, we've got no support. So this event listener, we should protect that as well. So if hidden does not equal null, then we're going to have our event. There we are. And we'll indent all this. OK, now we have our vchange event happening inside of here, so this won't fire if we have no support. We're writing out document.hidden, and then for our if statement, again, we need the square bracket syntax. Put our variable here that will resolve into the string hidden, or WebKit hidden, or MS hidden, depending on which browser it is. OK, back into here, refresh, leave the page, come back to the page, and we've got it working. And that's it. That is the page visibility API. So you can now track whether or not your user is still on your page or if they've jumped to another tab and do whatever you want with that information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will add this code to a uh, code gist and I will leave that in the comments as well. Uh, as well, if you're wondering about the type of command, I'll put a link to the type of video. Thanks for watching.